guys, Araya Boy here and today I'm back with a new vlog and I know a lot of you have been waiting and wanting me to do this vlog for so 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 long and finally here it is. So today I'll be sharing with you how I edit my Instagram photos and of course I'll be using my preset from my basic preset collection. So I'll be using just one preset from that collection and I'll show you how I work with the adjustment on different photos, different lighting. So usually I just use one preset and then I just adjust it depending sa photo of course. So that's what we're gonna do today. And at the end of this video, I'll be doing a giveaway. So make sure to watch till the end. I'll be giving away my basic preset collection to 10 lucky viewers. So let's just go ahead and open the Lightroom app. So guys, for those who are asking, I'm using a Lightroom app and I think this one's free so you don't need to pay anything. That's what I remember. So I'm not sure if you need to pay because matagal na siya na sa phone ko eh. So hindi ko na maalala kung binayaran ko ba siya or what. But I'm sure it was free. And I'm not gonna show you how to install the preset na and I can do a separate vlog for that if you want. Pero, but for now, I'm just gonna show you how I edit my photos. Now go to Lightroom app. There. So as you can see, ito yung album ko. Ang dami kong photos. I have ooh, 1,727 photos at the moment. Just gonna pick one photo that we can use first to edit. Let's use this photo so this was taken using my iPhone so I have an iPhone 8 plus with me and a broken front screen <laughs> so there now first is we've already opened the photo and then I'm gonna go to presets since naka save na yung presets ko actually so I just go here and then look for yan I have the basic Zero, basic one, basic two, basic three, basic four, basic five, basic six, and basic seven and eight. Yeah, and so those are all of the presets that you can find inside the basic preset collection. So for this one, let's do my favorite, which is the basic six. So I've been really using this preset a lot lately and the vibe of this preset is ano siya, high contrast parang ganun, and bright and the colors are not that desaturated so medyo may pagka saturated siya ng slight and vibrant ng slight but not too much so for the basic collection the goal was to just enhance the photos and not to like over edit or not to fully transform your photo so yun yung gusto ko now we've selected basic six from the presets and then i'm gonna show you kung paano ko siya in edit talaga kung ano yung pinaka base ng basic six as you can see exposure is just plus 20 and then contrast is zero highlights negative 20 and then shadows plus 30 whites negative 41 and then blacks negative 40 and uh, yeah and usually i start the edit by clicking curve kasi ito talaga yung pinaglalaruan ko dito eh. yung mga exposure na yan for me extra na lang but how you control the light or whatever darkness or contrast you want for your photo you do it here sa curves so as you can see if you increase this lower tail of the curve yeah and it gives that faded effect sa photo nyo so yun yung purpose niya and if you lower this one naman yung whites nyo nagpa fade yung sa lower i think it's the shadows na nagpa fade and then yung highlights yung nagpa fade sa upper tail ng curve so for this edit, what I did was tinaas ko ng onte yung lower tail of the curve. And then this part here, if you lower it down, yung blacks nyo nagda-dark siya. And then if, uh, ganyan, yan yung saktong edit for me. But if you want to darken it a bit, you can. But for me, okay na yan because I'm gonna go to contrast later and add a bit contrast to this photo. And then for this part naman dito, if you pull it up, yung whites nyo, nagbabrighten siya lalo. So, if you pull it down, of course, nagtadargan siya. Ito yung form ng curves ko, usually. And, usually, mas binababa ko pa to, and then, pag ganyan. So, ito yung parang muted uh, edit effect. But, 
for this one I want it to be as natural as possible so this curve is perfect for me so there and then again I want to add a bit of contrast to this photo so let's add around five 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 Yan and then medyo bright yung photo natin. So if you pull down the exposure, of course, look the darken photo. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna darken it a bit. Like siguro mga whoopsie. Twelve. Yan. So twelve looks perfect. So for highlights, if you pull this down, if as you can see yung highlights niyo nag the dark. So hindi ko siya masyadong pinull down kasi I don't want the image or the photo to be flat. Kaya medyo gusto ko yung may dimension pa rin siya. Kaya may shadows. Let's keep the shadows. Kaya tong shadows natin, if you pull down din naman, magiging super dark yung shadows natin. So, that's why uh, pinull up ko siya ng konti. Like, 30 is okay. But if you pull it more, like yan, nasusunog na yung shadows natin and nawawash out siya. So, for this one, I want to keep the shadows, the dimension, the colors. So for the blacks, if you pull it down, nag the black siya, of course. And then if you pull it up, yan yung blacks nyo nagiging bright. Medyo may pagka dark yung bet ko dito. And then for the colors, temperature is plus 3, tint is 0. Because if you put the tint, yan nagiging pinkish siya or greenish. So ayoko yung may tone na yun. And then vibrance is um, naka negative 7 and saturation is negative 21. So, uh, medyo disat siya. Kasi if you pull this one up, yung saturation. So, nagiging orangey yung photo. But if you pull it down, yun yung nagiging may pagka brownish tone yung photo niyo. So, for this photo, add pa natin ng konti. So, let's make it 8. Yan. So, there. The photo is a bit warm. And then, let's go to mix. Ito. Itong mix na to, this is where you can fully adjust the other colors pa. Like, selected color siya or selective colors. So, yun yung pagkakaintindi ko din. So, there. For red, I did not adjust anything sa red. And then, sa orange naman, I did adjust a few. So, yung U natin is nasa negative 9. So, this one, U is yung tone of the orange na gusto nyo. Pwede, pwede nyo gawin like red or super yellow. But, negative 9 for me is yung saktong tone ng skin. So, hindi ko siya masyadong ginagalaw because I don't want to change yung color ng skin ko. So, saturation is negative 9. So, naka-desat din siya. Yan. And then, luminance, naka-zero lang siya. Kasi, if you pull down, parang ayoko yung nagiging flat again yung skin. And gusto ko pa rin may highlights pa rin yung skin ko. Para again, may dimension yung photo. And then for the yellow naman, I did not adjust anything here. Same with green. But for blue, or cyan. Cyan ba? Yan. But for this one, this shade here, play safe tayo. Yan. I did adjust the U. So, I added like plus 26 for the U here. And then saturation is negative 30. And luminance, 0. And hindi nyo siya masyadong ma-appreciate sa photo na to kasi wala masyadong blue yung photo na to except for the bag. So, yung bag naman, hindi siya yung teal or yung cyan color like light blue. It's more of the dark blue or navy blue. So, um, pag nasa navy blue, ito, itong part na tayo, hue is if you change it uh, upwards, yan, nagiging may pagka-purple na siya. But downwards, nagiging may pagka-green. So, yan. And then, saturation is negative 15. So, I did not adjust the U na. Because I want to keep the exact color of the bag here. Yung mga blue, mga greens, ganyan. Minute ko siya ng onte. There. And then, purple, I did not adjust anything. And magenta, I did not adjust anything. Now, let's go to effects. So here, um, yung split toning naman, this one, if you go to highlights, as you can see, yung hue natin is nasa 145 degrees, and for the saturation, it's nasa may 5. And for shadows naman, yung hue natin dito is nasa 39 degrees, and for the saturation is 16. And then balance, binaba ko siya ng negative 62, kasi if for me, pag ganyan, parang 
nagiging cool siya or nawawala yung color niya. So, binaba ko siya ng negative 62. There. Now, for effects naman, I just edited yung clarity. So, yung clarity, dinagdagan ko lang ng plus 10. So, the more you add this, the more nag-sharpen or nag giging a crispy yung photo mo. But then, if you lower this down naman, nagiging dreamy yung photo mo. So, depende sa'yo kung gusto mo dreamy yung photo mo or if you want it to be sharp. But for me, I want medyo may pagka-sharpness. That's why I added plus 10 clarity. Now, for the green part, you all know na mahilig ako sa green. So, eto, subtle na yung green ng basic collection ko actually. Hindi ko na siya masyadong in-overdo. Kasi marami sa inyo nagtatanong kung paano tanggalin yung grain. So guys, gets ko naman not all of you likes grain as much as I do. So for this one, naka plus 20 lang yung grain. But if you want to completely remove the grain part, then it's up to you. But for me, gusto ko kasi may texture yung photo ko. That's why I add grain. And I also like yung may pagka-vintage vibe. That's why I added plus 20 grain. And then the size, um, 50 and roughness is 50. Now, let's go to the details part. So, ito siya, yung triangle na detail. So, I still added sharpening for this. So, yung sharpening ko is around 30 and then automatically yung radius niya around 25. Hindi ko na siya in-adjust. So, ganun lang. Inangat ko lang yung sharpening. So, there. Now, for optics, wala naman ako ginalaw dito. Same with geometry. Wala na. Yan. So, yeah, basically, yun lang yung ano talaga, adjustments ko for B66. And now, um, let's copy this settings or the preset settings. Let's copy that and then let's go and select a different image this time. Pili tayo ng ibang lighting. Para you can see the difference also. So, let's pick this photo. So, as you can see, may edit na siya. We're just gonna reset this one to all. So, yan. So, this one is the raw photo. So, wala siyang edit now. Let's go to the paste setting. So, there. So, ganyan siya. Very, as you can see, very minimal lang talaga yung edit nito. Actually, yung gagawin natin dito is add pa natin ng onting onti na contrast. Okay. I'm good with this part. Let's go to color. I want to desat my skin color kasi masyado siyang boom, vibrant, so ganon. So, I'm just gonna desat it a bit to down to 11. So, yan. And let's go to highlights. Let's lower it to 45. Yan. Actually, I'm happy with it. I just want the colors to pop. Because as you can see yung before photo ko here, it's kind of um, dead yung colors. So, I want the colors to just be alive. So, basically, yun lang talaga yung adjustments na ginagawa ko sa photos ko. I just do the same to all of my photos. And yung mainly na in-adjust ko lang talaga would be exposure, contrast, highlight, and the temperature. So, yun yung pinaka-basic na ina-adjust ko sa preset ko. And if may nakikita ko na hindi tama sa photo, then I go to curves. Then, dun ko mas ina-adjust talaga yung how I want it to be bright or dark or like may certain parts ng image na gusto ko i-darken. Tsaka, if I want to add fade, that's where I go. I go to curves. So, yeah, that's it for my quick tutorial on how I edit my Instagram photos. Now, for the giveaway part naman, as mentioned earlier, I'll be giving away my basic preset collection to 10 lucky viewers slash subscribers slash friends. And the mechanics is very easy and simple. I don't want to complicate things. So, all you have to do is to, of course, like this video and, of course, subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Instagram account. It's at I am Rhea Bue. And then, comment your IG handle down below. Yun lang. Just comment your IG handle down below. Or if may gusto pa kayong sabihin, then just feel free to comment down below. And that's it. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!